Welcome to Jean and Mike do the New York Times crossword. Hi, I'm Jean. And I'm Mike. And today we are doing the crossword for Monday, August 5th, 2024. So, did you do the crossword? I did do the crossword. And are you a little bit disappointed that it didn't come out on Monday, August 4th, 2024? Why? Because then you could say August 4th, 2024, <laughs> which would dovetail nicely with the theme. Oh, I suppose so. But it didn't. It came out on the 5th, so you can't do it. That's true. Un unless unless golf decides to uh, in announce a new term. Yes, uh-huh. But no, I, I, don't, I don't think that would work. Mm, okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I I barely noticed the theme because I raced through this puzzle mm -hmm. very quickly, but uh, I had a mistake. Ah, so that that ruined my record time. I'm sure. What was your record time going to be? Do you think? How would you? What would you estimate it to be? My record time. Yes. Well, I've done it under five. Have you? Yeah, just once. Okay. Just once. Mm. But and just barely, you know, it was like four fifty eight or something. But sort of uh, like that Olympic champion that won by five one thousandth of yeah, a second. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But um, but no, I had a mistake, hmm. which was a silly mistake. Oh, I better know what it is though. What? It was fifty eight down, Hoppy Brew for short, and you wrote IPO instead of IPA. No, that was not my mistake. <laughs> All right, um, you misspelled. 63 across, org that runs the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, NASA, you spelt it as NAHA. No. Okay. <laughs> this is getting tricky. Are these mistakes you made? <laughs> I did make the mistake about IPO versus IPA, and I can't believe that I did that, but I was um, trying to get through this expeditiously, but that slowed me down. Hmm. Um, all right, I give. Where was your mistake? My mistake was 42 across. I was going to say that one uh, next. Expensive cabinet material, which was cherry wood. And for some reason, I had put a W in the first square. So I had wary wood. <laughs> and let's see, 42 down was inflection points. And that was cusps. I'm thinking maybe I, I I was thinking of something different there that began with a W. That's an inflection point. I I, I would love uh, to know what that is. Yeah, I, I can't recall, but um, but anyway, that's where I made my mistake. Mm. And of course, it took me a while to find it, but because I thought, oh, where we would that is rare. I've never heard of it. <laughs> Extremely rare. Yes, <laughs> it's only found in the Wary Wood Forest. Uh huh. Actually, it would be extremely expensive, I'm sure. <laughs> it's too bad you didn't get that first R as an E. Then it would have been cheery wood. Well, that might have true. been even harder to spot. <laughs> that's true. Unless you recognize 30 down, the snake charmers, snakes, uh, were cobras, not cobias. That's right. That's right. So anyway, cherry wood was part of the theme. Yes. So perhaps I should talk about that. Okay. Okay. There were three themed clues and a revealer. Um, and they were uh, compound uh, compound answers, two words each. Uh, the first one was 18 across, uh, garnish for a glass of iced tea, which was a lemon wedge. And then we had uh, 32 across, appliance at hotel breakfast bar, and that was waffle iron. And then the infamous cherry wood, uh, 42 across. Uh, and the revealer was uh, 57 across, credit card industry pioneer, or a hint to the um, aforementioned themed clues. Mm -hmm. And that was diner's club. Correct. And, of course, it's the last word club that is the uh, hint because all the other aforementioned um, themed clues ended with a golf club. Right. Lemon wedge, waffle iron, and cherry wood. Yeah. So that guess, was the theme. Guess they couldn't work putter into the... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Are there any other types of, of golf clubs, that wedge, iron, wood, and putter? Well, I don't really know because I do not play golf. Yeah, I don't either. Mm-hmm. 
But yes, that was a fun, fun theme. Yep. And it was a fairly easy puzzle, which was good. Cause right. It was Monday. So. Yep. We're not expecting it to be too hard, but it was, it was again fun. And, and, and every time I see one of these crosswords, I just marvel at the ingenuity of the people who come up with these themes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, let's see. What else was interesting here? One across. I, I panicked for a moment. The uh, the clue was "Gimme Gimme Gimme" band, and that was ABBA. That's right. And is that the name of one of their songs? Yes. Gimme. Okay, because I I was thinking of "Money Money Money." They I, do I, have that one. And that, and that's what made me think maybe it was ABBA. And plus, it was four letters, mm-hmm. so it was either that or ACDC. And it <laughs> doesn't sound like an ACDC sort of song. No, not quite. Not quite. I like the one below it. Again, not a real word, but 14 across, yippee in internet speak, woot. Right. Woot. Does that stand for something? Or is that just something that you put on the internet to say hurrah? Um, <laughs> I don't know. We might have to research that. <laughs> well, maybe not right now, but... Perhaps not. Maybe a fun fact. Um, mm-hmm. But... Let's see. Um, three down, I thought was a good clue. Caesar's Vini Vidi Vici is a famous one. And I was going for quote, but it was boast. That's right. Did you go for quote before boast? No, I did not. Because you already had ABBA, I'm guessing. That's right. Okay. So, yes. Yes, and I had Woot and a few others there. In the bed. Mm-hmm. We had another punny quasi reference to golf five across actor driver and that was adam that's another t- <laughs> it's another type of golf club i just realized okay not really a golf clue but it was it was related oh i suppose very 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 distantly related mm-hmm. um we had uh 31 across was kind of interesting Tennis champion Swatek, Sawita, and and the name is Iga. Right. I G A. That's a new. (laughs) That's a new one for the answer. I G A. I think. Right. Tennis champion Swatek. Yep. I wonder. I wonder if they were named after the store. I don't know, but that has appeared in the crossword a few times. Mm-hmm. Uh, clued as the name of the uh, of the player. The grocery store. Oh, okay, not the, right. Not the tennis yep. champion. Yes. I wonder if High V has gotten into the grid yet. No, I don't think so. How about festival? Probably, but not festival as festival foods. Fe- probably not as festival foods, but just as festival. Mm-hmm. Or Woodman's. Mm-hmm. So. We had a political reference today. Forty six across. Nickname for a Bronx-born U.S. Congresswoman AOC. That's right. I did not realize. For some reason, I thought she was in. From Minnesota or something. Oh, no, no. She's in the Bronx. Okay. New York. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We had a uh, a slightly, um, well, I know I shouldn't say that this clue is incorrect, but 40 across, watercraft prone to tipping is a canoe. Which one was that? 40 across. Oh, 40 across. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have to take exception with that. It's They're not prone, prone to, to tipping. T- they're prone to mischief, to quote Shakespeare, and but <laughs> but not tipping. I mean, not as much as say a kayak, which is neither here nor there. I realize, um, but <laughs> anyway, um, I'm we like, have tipped in a canoe once. Yes, <laughs> just once. But that was because it was okay, a very tippy canoe. I guess it I see. I guess I see their canoe. point now. Okay, mm-hmm. I retract <laughs> everything that I just said. <laughs> And I will now go back into the editor to excise it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, good puzzle. Yep. I don't think there was anything. Uh, I, I did pause at 54 across where Nissan and Nintendo are headquartered. And I was trying to decide, should I go for Tokyo or should I go for Japan? I went for Tokyo. Did you? But it didn't work. <laughs> it did, <laughs> nope. Because the cusps from 42 down would have been the... <laughs> Cusks, uh-huh, I guess. Yes. yes, no, it was uh, Japan. Mm-hmm. I like the clue for fifty uh, forty-eight down. Last resort button in a cockpit. Eject. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was that was amusing. Mm-hmm. Not a whole lot of humor in the grid today, but I thought that was good. Yes. 
And then we again had our foamy coffee order, 65 across latte, right. not wati. Uh-huh. Oh, another funny one was 56 across legendary stoner, Medusa. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, at first I was thinking, is it going to be Jagger? But yeah. <laughs> but stoner was not capitalized, and no. he would have been a stone. I, I don't think he was really much of a stoner. Um, I noticed that one of our frequent correspondents got into the grid, at least their name did, uh, guitarist Anastasio of Fish, spelled F-H-I-S-H, and that was Trey. Yes. Uh-huh. So, uh, let's see here. Blank getaway, Southwest Airlines slogan, and it's Wanna? Wanna. Yep. I I gather that a lot of people don't want to get away on Southwest, <laughs> but they still want to get away. Maybe they want to get away from Southwest. <laughs> I don't know. But, all right. Well, I think that's probably it for today. An excellent crossword. Very nice theme. This was by Andy Wel- Walker. I think worth five squares on the Jam CR scale. I would say so. All right. Well, that's it for today. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again with our cutting-edge analysis of tomorrow's crossword tomorrow. Bye-bye.